Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing with the bus bar protection scheme, in today's video, we will be learning more about the bus bar in the substation. So what is bus bar in a substation? Basically, bus bar is an arrangement for three current current carrying conductor parts which collect current from incoming feeder and distribute the current to the outgoing feeders. So like this you can see over here it is just a conductor which is carrying a current carrying path okay and it connects various numbers of the feeders. So there may be incoming feeders and outgoing feeders depending on the direction of the current flow. For example, over here you can consider the red arrows are the incoming feeders from which the currents are coming inside towards the bus and blue are the outgoing feeders from which the current is flowing outside from the bus. So, bus bar in actual is actually made of three phase R, Y and B. So, whenever you visit a substation, you will see a practically this kind of bus bar but for simplicity we have considered a single line diagram combining all three phases in just a single line and in actual practice this bus bar can be made up of conductors bar or IPS pipes. We have seen in previous videos various type of bus bar scheme that included single bus substations, double bus scheme and three bus scheme. For single bus substation, there may be a single bus scheme and single bus with sectionalizer isolator substation. For double bus substation, we have two main bus scheme, main bus and transfer bus scheme, main bus come transfer bus scheme. So, in today's video, we will be learning about how to use a two bus substation as a three bus substation. Just using two bus, how can we get the benefits of a three bus scheme? So single bus scheme we have already considered in previous video that is considering main bus one and all the feeders incoming and outgoing are connected to the single bus only. For double bus scheme with two main bus, we have seen that there are two main bus and both these buses are connected with a selector isolator you can select the bus on which you went, want to connect this particular equipment and similarly all other equipments are connected to either bus 1 or bus 2. Then under double bus scheme we have seen auxiliary bus and main bus scheme also in which main bus and auxiliary scheme bus is like this. So you can either select the main bus or you can connect the equipment to the auxiliary bus. So in today's video, we will be learning about main bus 1, main bus 2 and transfer bus. So this is a simple scheme that is a three bus substation. But what is interesting is we can perform the same function of two main bus and transfer bus using just two bus scheme also. So let us see two bus scheme. Double bus substation but you can get the benefits of a three bus substation. How? Let us understand that in detail. This is a main bus one and the second bus is main bus come transfer bus. So what is important over here is the second bus is playing the role of main bus 2 as well as the transfer bus. How that is done? Let us understand the schematic. So as usual there is a feeder that is having two selector isolators. Either it is connected on bus 1 or it is connected on bus 2. Now what is a special feature that is added is there is a separate isolator that is connecting this two bus with the equipment separately okay so this kind of arrangement makes it a main bus to come transfer bus 
So now the transfer main bus too also plays the role as a transfer bus as and when required. How that is done that we will understand through the power flow. Similarly, the rest of equipments will be connected either it is a line or it is a transformer. So now let us understand through the power flow how the power flow occurs. And as usual we have seen there will always be a bus coupler arrangement that is connecting the main bus 1 and main bus 2. So suppose this equipment is connected to the main bus 1. So power flow will be like this whenever the breaker is on and power is incoming from the line it will charge this main bus. Once the main bus is charged we can charge a transformer through the main bus like this. Now let us understand this second line or second equipment is connected to main bus 2 and it is connecting the bus 2. So once the power flow starts it is charging my bus 2. As similarly bus 2 is charged and we connect the transformer to this bus. So transformer 2 is also getting charged. Once the bus coupler and these two isolators are connected, now the power flow between bus 1 and bus 2 is occurring. Both will be at same levels. Now what happens whenever this one circuit breaker is under some kind of fault or it, it requires some kind of maintenance work to be done. In that case this breaker is open so you will not be able to charge this particular bus from this line equipment. But this bus will still remain charged due to this bus coupler circuit breaker. Okay. But you want to charge this circuit breaker or you want to say inject the power through this line okay because the grid requirement is that that you have to inject the power through this particular line okay due to some kind of loading scenarios. So in that case what we can do is we can use this main bus to come transfer bus scheme. How that can be done is you will have to first of all turn off the circuit breaker and connect circuit breaker of bus coupler and connect all this equipments to single bus. So we will connect all the equipments to a single bus. How we will connect? See this is connected to sing bus 1. These two are already connected to bus 1 right and now we will open this circuit breaker. So all the equipments are currently charged on bus 1 and you want to inject the power from this particular circuit and we will charge bus 2 with this power. So what we will do is we will close this isolator okay, and open these two isolators and now the power will be transferred to bus 2. So bus 2 is working as main bus to come transfer bus. Over here you can understand that all the benefits of a 3 bus scheme are attained using only 2 bus. So the overall area that is required for the construction of this kind of substation is less compared to 3 bus but you can get the advantage of 3 bus scheme. Also at a time only one of the equipments will be charging the through the transfer bus. You cannot use if there is a equipment failure for another circuit breaker say for this line or for this transformer in that case you will not be able to use the transfer bus only if there is a single circuit breaker failure in that case only single equipment will be charged through a transfer bus. The same thing happens in 3 bus system also. So getting the advantage of 3 bus scheme 
and also getting the advantage of only two bus scheme you can use double bus substation as a three bus substation scheme so friends we have learned a double bus scheme how it is used as a three bus scheme in today's video and we will learn more about the bus bar arrangement in upcoming videos keep watching thank you